Over the years, I've had a weird obsession with collecting gaming peripherals. From the awful Tony Hawk's ride controller to the awesome Tyco no Tatsujin drum, there's just something about these gaming peripherals that just draws me to them, be it their unique design or just completely outlandish concepts which were just destined to fail. And today we're checking out something which could potentially fit both those categories. It could either be completely awful or weirdly fantastic. Today we are checking out the game track for the PlayStation 2. Now this is a really weird weird gaming peripheral for me because I had no idea it existed. This thing originally released in 2004 in Europe and it wasn't until a few years later when it was released in the US on PS2 and Xbox. And according to the box, the game track is a revolutionary new ultra fast dual 3D motion tracker. Now obviously it says new on the box, but really it's over a decade and a half old now. So the game track system is made up of three components. You've got the game track base unit, which is basically the main bit of hardware, which is going to handle all all the motion capture, you then got your foot mat and you've got your track gloves. Game Track's dual 3D motion trackers track your hands with pinpoint accuracy apparently. Now the box really sells the game track as being quite a grandiose peripheral. It makes it sound like it's something amazing, something that everyone's going to really want. But I can't help but feel that this thing just looks really cheap. Especially when you look at the back and you see that all the imagery right here is really pixelated. The really crappy photos they've got over here, which is obviously just members of staff that work for the studio which made this just sitting around in a room pretending to enjoy using it. And when the box is spouting buzzwords like instant motion mirroring and revolutionary new old ultra fast dual 3D motion tracker, I can't help but feel like it's just a bit too good to be true. Now, when this was originally released in 2004, it came out to mixed reviews, but overall it sold pretty well. It went on to win the best of show award at the Leipzig Games Convention. And if you want proof of that, they put it on the side of the box right there. And according to Wikipedia, it sold around 60,000 units, which really isn't that bad when you consider that there was only three games released that were compatible with this device. Dark Wind, which debuted with the game track and is a first person fighter, really Real World Golf, which comes with its own little golf club which you use to play the game. And then last but not least, Real World Golf 2007. So yes, these are the only three games which the game track actually has, and two of them are golf games. It's kind of sad actually, because on the side of the box it shows three other games which were coming soon for the game track. Real World Basketball, Dance Mayhem, and Sword Master, which sound great, but they were never ever released. So I actually picked up the game track from a second hand store and I think I only picked it up for about 15 pounds with a couple of games, which kind of says a lot about this thing. Suffice to say, it doesn't hold much value in 2020. So we've got the foot mat inside here. We've got the gloves and then we've got the base unit, which really does just feel like an old school console, kind of like a Sega Mega Drive mixed with a Dreamcast. There's something weird about it. So the setup for this thing is actually very, very simple. What you need to do is take the foot mat and plug it into the front of the unit and then the gloves just simply clip to the cables just here and these are the parts which are going to be detecting your motion and they basically work like an analog stick just with a pulley cable system going on. So what it seems like is that this system is just designed to take the simple concept of analog sticks and just make it a little bit more interactive. This is weird. Now we've had pretty good wireless motion controls for a few years now, so being tethered to a device like this just feels really restricting. It doesn't feel right, and it feels like it's kind of easy to break. It just looks like kind of cheap fishing wire. But I guess it does allow for enough movement in the arms to be, you know, punching and playing golf. And I don't think there's anything else actually left to say about this thing. So I guess the last thing for us to do is to take it in the other room and actually give it a go to the game room. And when I say game room, I mean living room. And when I say living room, it's actually just the place where I nap for like three hours every day because I think I'm just getting old. I'm 28. Leave me alone. So here's the setup. We got the foot bit in the middle here, which is actually just a button, which I didn't realize. I thought it was like a sensor or something, but nope. Literally just a big button. Then you got the main unit just here with your gloves attached to it. And if you move your right hand up, it'll go right. If you move your left hand up, it'll go left. And that's how you navigate menus. It feels a bit odd at first, but it does work. So I've got to give it credit. So the first game we're going to be playing is Dark Wind, which is the debut title, which came with the game track. As I said, it's a fighting game. So I'm expecting to do a lot of this, a bit of that, maybe some of this. Either way, I'm looking forward to it. Why doesn't my game track look like that? That looks way cooler. Looks like one of those weird hoverboards. Please stand still with your hands on your head as illustrated. The system has measured you up. Hey, look at that. I've got hands, people.
I think I get how this works. Wow, the menu's loading. God, I've never seen that before. At first I thought it was gonna be weird using my feet to press a button, but honestly, after years of playing DDR and Time Crisis in the arcade, it actually feels quite natural to be pressing buttons with my feet. Oh, my character's already moving with my hands. He definitely looks like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> okay, so to block, you have to hold your hands quite close to you and then just move them in position with wherever the hits are coming from. I've just noticed below my health bar, there's like a YMCA thing going on. Look, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out how to play the goddamn game. T-pose. Okay, not a T-pose, but that'll do. Was that a bloody Hadouk? Finisher? What do I do? Um. <laughs> that'll do, I guess. Fruit chop. Fruit chop. Fruit chop, not as effective as I thought it would be. Volcano. What the hell's a volcano? Oh, oh, sh Okay, so that annihilated me, but I'm still alive. No, I'm dead. That was a one hit kill. Napalm, chill out. I only burnt 3.5 calories. I'm never gonna lose these muffin tops. I've just noticed that it tells you your fastest punch in that round. I wonder how fast we can get that. This seems like a valid technique. Oh, damn it, why did it pause? I have a feeling if you get too low, it pauses it. Yep, that's the case. Okay, try not to do that then. Oh, this is not as easy as I was hoping it would be. Is that how I block it? If I just remember that, I'll be fine. I bet it's the exact opposite. Oh, got it is. Fastest punch, 25.4 miles per hour. That's a bit better, isn't it? And 19 calories burnt. I'm getting there. I can feel them melting away. What if I cross my arms? What will he do? Oh, oh, no, no. Threatening position to be in right there. Fruit chop, fruit chop. Come, come here, come here, come here. Come. Fruit chop. Yeah, fell for it. Let's see if we can get the blue bar up to max and do our biggest move. I'm not sure what that is. If I put one arm down like that. Oh God, no, it's not doing it. That, that's it, that's it. Ultimate wrap. Nice. There's a few of these. And we've won, and I've paused it. Damn it, that really ruined the climax. I do have a tendency of moving backwards, which completely throws the game track out of whack. So I'll go for a punch and it won't hit them because I'm just too far away. Oh, I'm sucking, I'm fighting as hard as I can. That was the quickest round yet. All right, for this round, I'm gonna go for speed and calories burnt. So let's get a lot of movement going on here. Your rage is useless if you can't hit me. <laughs> I don't think I'm actually doing any damage. Oh. 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 If I didn't burn at least 20 calories from that one, I'm gonna be surprised. 52 calories, that's like a whole slice of bread and a thin one at that. It's really not many calories, is it? Max punch speed, 20 miles per hour though. So obviously the old X handle is the best move for fast punch speed. Who knew? Next up, we've got Real World Golf. And what I like about this one is that it comes with its own miniature golf club. So it makes you feel like you're having the authentic golfing experience. But in reality, you're just standing in your living room, swinging around a toy golf club, looking like a bit of an idiot. Oh, wow, this is actually brand new. It's still in its original seal. That's surprising, considering I bought this secondhand. And I'm gonna be the one to ruin the sanctity of the original seal. Ha! I really hope this wasn't a collector's item. I might've just wasted a lot of money. Who am I kidding? This isn't worth anything. It's a bit shit. It literally just feels like a kid's toy you would get in Poundland. In fact, that's giving it a bit too much credit. The revolutionary golf game where you swing a club to hit the ball. So it's golf then. It does kind of concern me that this thing didn't come with a wrist strap. I have a feeling that I might just sink this thing right through the television. Just all the fun of a wonderful round of golf whenever you feel like it. Using GameTrack brings total reality to playing golf within the realms of computer gaming. It's amazing. Enter the name to use with this configuration. Let's just play a round. We don't need to do a tournament or anything. <laughs> Ass amateur shot one. <laughs> family channel, Charles, family channel. All right, Ass, this is your time to shine. Oh, do I have to like lean forwards a bit? Ah, oh, here we go. Here's a proper swing. Here's, a, am I standing on the right side? Hey, that's way better, All right? That was my bad. And swing. Keep your eye on the ball. And go. Oh, oh, that's not well great. done. A bit of a draw and it's on the fairway. I don't know what it means, but it sounds great. Oh, I can rotate him. Oh, I can aim. All right, the flag is just about there. I think that'll do. And 
Tiny tap, let me tiny tap. Yeah, there we go. Double bogeys, yeah. Is that a good thing? I think we got the idea of what real world golf was all about. So let's go ahead and move on to real world golf 2007. It's more youthful and pop punkier counterpart. Male three, male four. Aw, oh, I had my heart set on male eight, but I need to unlock him. Oh great, they've given me 24 characters to choose from. Just give me three and I'm happy. How do you spell ass meister? Ass Meister. Going to be honest, first impressions, this doesn't actually look much better than Real World Golf 1. You'd think with about three or four years between them, this would look significantly better. Golf club down. Put the golf put the golf club down, ass meister. That felt good. Whoa, God, where is it going? Is that even in the right direction? I wasn't even looking. Oh, how frustrating. I felt pretty good about it, but no, apparently I should be pissed. Oh, into the rough, horrid place. Bad luck. <laughs> He's taking the piss, but it's oddly endearing. Raise, ra raise the, Assmeister's broken again. Raise the club, raise the, raise the club, raise the, why <laughs> won't you go? Uh, have I broken the controller? No, I doubt it. It seems to be working fine. See, it does all this stuff all right, but he doesn't want to just bloody swing the thing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Higher, higher. <sighs> Ask Meister, you're taking the piss. Everything okay? Far from it. I'm done with golf and not just real world golf. IRL golf, I want nothing to do with it. Now I'd be lying if I said that I expected more from the game track because I literally expected none of this to work. So the fact that there is at least one game out of the three which were released for this thing, which works fairly all right, I'm happy. Dark Wind is definitely the best game out of the three, especially when you consider that I don't actually like golf, nor do I like golf games. So, I mean, it was a surefire winner. But the punching with the game track and moving your arms to do special moves actually works all right. The golf games are just very mediocre golf games. They don't work particularly well. This guy does have a bit of trouble swinging the club. Oh, oh, no, no. Still doesn't like that. So there's obviously a few issues to be had with this wired getup. If you want a controller for golf simulations, you're probably better off getting a Wii. I know it's not perfect, but it's still far better than the game track. But it's something about the novelty of being wired into a gaming peripheral, which I kind of enjoy in a weird way. It's just very unique. There's nothing quite like it on the market, which is really no surprise because it's not very good. But it is a weird piece of gaming history and I'm glad to own one. If you're like me and you like to collect weird gaming peripherals, the game track should be right at the top of your list. I'm just amazed that it took me over a decade to realize there was a motion controller for the PlayStation 2. How did I miss that? And that's gonna be it for another edition of Looted. I know this video was just a little bit different, but if you liked it, hit like and let us know if you wanna see more videos on gaming peripherals, it's something I'm quite interested in. So I would be more than happy to do more videos on this kind of thing. And shout out to Pikafoop, Keegan McAdams, Natasha Savage, and Kai Preshaw on Patreon. Thank you very much for your support. And if you like this video, hit like. If you like all our videos, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. Follow us on our social pages, check out the link in the description to our Patreon page to support the channel further and you can also join us on our Discord server and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.